They're getting a very versatile defense back. A dog, a uh, person that's going to win every rep and, you know, going to make sure that whenever my name is called to go get on the number one receiver or come up to set the edge, you know, and make tackles, I want to be that guy. You know, someday I want to be a superstar in the league and be held as, you know, a leader on the defense, you know, and then be as great as they want me to be in any other position, whether it's on special teams or whatever it is. So overall, just being the best, you know, saying football player for whatever team that I end up on. And that man right there, Travis Hodges, Tomlinson, of course, the, the name jumps out. He is our guy, LT, the Pro Football Hall of Famer's nephew. But not just that, he was the 2022 Jim Thorpe Award winner, two-time AP All-American, three-time first team, all Big 12. And he's joining us right now on NFL Now as this process nears April 27th. Uh, Travis, how are things going for you? Thanks for spending time with us. It's going great. You know, just soaking in the experience and, you know, having a great time with it and making sure that I'm staying up to business and having the business as a whole, man. And, you know, I'm very thankful for the position that I'm in today, and I'm ready to excel in it. Travis, we just heard you talk about being a, a versatile DB. You know, some people say, oh, he's going to be a slot guy with outside potential. To me, that's a good thing. I mean, the fact that you can go inside, especially seeing how NFL offenses play, how would you describe your game and where you think you'd fit in best? I feel like... I can fit anywhere in the defensive back room, you know, with my covering abilities, the way I can tackle, and, you know, just my closing speed on, you know, offenders and everything like that. And then my ball skills as well, my athleticism. So, you know, anywhere that the team feels that I should be, you know what I'm saying, much needed at, I'll be able to prevail at it because of all the abilities that I've been blessed with and my IQ for the game. So, my, uh, you know, everything that I have as a whole, I feel like I can play anywhere on the defensive back room, and, you know, I'm ready to see where I end up. Travis, do you find yourself having to make a case despite all the things that you've been able to accomplish, a tremendous season from you guys at TCU, uh, all, the, all the awards? We, we even had postseason all-star games talking about uh, your height. Uh, how frustrating is that always to be there when people will make excuses for other measurables, but it, it always seems like height is the one, it's the one bridge that some people can't bring themselves to cross? Yeah, I mean... At the end of the day, that's the only thing that you can talk about. You can't deny my game. You can't deny everything else that I have accomplished. You can't deny the rankings. You can't deny my stats. You know, and you can't deny my consistency. All you can talk about is my height. But at the end of the day, who has been the best defensive back in college football the past few years? You know, so, and, you know, who has, you know what I'm saying, helped come off a great winning season with my team and stuff like that. So all you can talk about is my height. But once you put me on the field, you can't deny me. So, in other words, you're going to be a steal for whoever uh, whoever decides to draft you. But, but you? you know, I look at your game, sure, and, you know, and I see Antoine Winfield Sr., uh, you know, who was a 5'9 corner for the Vikings years ago, and you're, you're tough like him. You're, you know, you're a willing tackler like him. You know, what, what do you have to tell these teams? And you go on your visits like, don't fear the size because I, I match up against tight ends and I do well. I mean, what is it you tell these teams who, who may be apprehensive because of that? I just tell them, cut on the tape. You know, I've covered six, five receivers. I've covered, you know, five, ten, four threes. I've covered, you know, every receiver that you could possibly think of as far as, you know, even in the tight end position. I played a lot of snaps, you know, in the boundary, so I was getting, you know what I'm saying, pro sets and stuff like that. And, you know, just seeing every type of receiver that you could face in college football and then all the other guys that have had success in the league as well. So I feel like, you know, it's all for a team to go ahead and, you know what I'm saying, believe that I will be what I have consistently been in this game of football. So once I get on the team, they are going to get that same Travis that they've seen the past few years. And I am a willing tackler. It's not about, I'm not, a, I don't, I'm not willing to just do something I, I want to do it. So whenever it comes to tackling, it's something that I, that I really look at as a part of my game. And you've been able to see it modeled, of course, your, your uncle is a pro football Hall of Famer. You give him credit for the workouts. Is, is that is the workouts is getting you a 39-inch vert, an 11-foot 11, 11 broad <laughs> jump? Is, is that just that just coming from God? How, how, how's LT getting you here, man? Uh, he's got me, for sure, got me in position as far as with my athleticism and everything like that. Uh, you know, just the workouts and everything as a whole has allowed me to reach these, you know what I'm saying, outstanding numbers as far as my athleticism. You know, and then also with God, you know, he, he has blessed me with the abilities as well. And for me to continuously train and be able to, you know, better them, you know. So for him to bring me on very at a very young age and allow me to train and everything like a pro, it has allowed me to continue to 
you know what I'm saying, have positivity whenever it comes to producing as an athlete. Well, Travis, we appreciate you, man. Good luck. Uh, we're pulling for you, and I uh, can't wait to see where you, where you land in the 2023 draft. Thanks for joining us, man. Good luck. Yes, sir. Thank you all.